Hey guys, it's Carla. Today, as usual, I'm starting with my chipboard already painted a solid color. Um, and, but you can use canvas for this too. I'm just, I, I like to use chipboard. Um, so I want to mix up a light shade to go over it. Um, almost the same color, but just a lighter version of it. And I want to very loosely paint this on, leaving that that dark gray showing through in places. Now I want to darken it up for like toward the bottom. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom with this, but but toward the bottom I want it to be a little bit darker. All right, now with a palette knife, I'm gonna add some white to that and basically just rub in my tabletop very loosely. And then with black added to it, um, I'm gonna put in the, I guess in my mind this is the table cloth hanging down but this is all very abstract so now with just a plain dry brush I'm just kind of scumbling some of that lighter color up into the darker color and then dragging some of it down into into that bottom part Right, so I'm mixing up a color for my vase and it really doesn't matter what color it is except that I don't want my vase to be real obvious. Um, I want the flowers to be the focal point. So um, so this is going to be like almost the color of the background but then it's going to have some highlights and shadows on it. Basically, my goal is to have um, have it lighter on the left side and darker on the right side. So, warm colors indicate light, and cooler colors indicate dark. So, um, so I'm putting the blue over here on this side. Now I'm not making a traceable for this one because uh, the only thing the traceable would be would, would be this round vase. And so you can just use something round if you don't feel like you can uh, paint a, a round circle. Now this is just a an angle brush and I'm just dabbing and scumbling these leaves in so I'm not stopping to to make leaf shapes I'm just kind of scumbling this angle brush kind of makes leaf shapes on its own uh, without even trying so but this is a very loose painting and kind of abstract so so you don't want to have perfectly shaped leaves So I've got that darker green in there and now this is just kind of a medium green and now with some yellow added to it I'll put in the, the lighter shade. Now the lighter shade uh, like all around the edges I want to be lighter than than it is in the middle because the middle would be 
catching more shadow um, and the outer leaves would catch more light so it just looks good to have have it lighter out toward the edges and it kind of softens it up Now I decided I wanted a little more height on it, so I'm just using that light color to do that. All right, now I didn't dry it, but I'm just going back in. I'm going in with red with um, with my filbert brush. So this is just a synthetic filbert brush, just a cheap brush, and I'm kind of making a, a flower shape. I'm going to do the same thing with orange. And then yellow. And um, I'm not even rinsing my brush between these colors, but um, I want to keep these really loose. I mean, obviously, they need, need to have like a sort of a flower shape, but um, I'm not putting any detail in it. So down here, I decided to put a flower on the table, so I need some greenery around it. Just very loose. All right, so now I'm adding some white to my red with that filbert brush and I just want to start putting in some little petal highlights And now I'm adding white to the orange, and I'll do the same thing to the orange flowers. And the yellow. This is not the final highlight on these flowers, but um, it's kind of a process. But but you can already see how it's making them show up a lot better. Right now with a little liner brush with watered down dark green, I'm gonna put in a, a few stems for some buds. All right, so with just plain red, I just wanna make like a kind of an almond shape and then put a little highlight on it. No detail. Same thing with orange and yellow. And you can put as many of these as you want. Um, I just want to show you how to do it, but what you do is totally up to you. Now with the little liner brush, I'm putting in some, some of the little leaves beside the buds.
And now I'm scumbling in some more leaves around, around those stems just so that they don't um, look like they don't belong. So now I'm using white with that filbert brush again and putting in a few more highlights on the flowers. Right, right down here under the vase, between the vase and the table, I want a really thin shadow. So I'm just scumbling that in real loosely. So I'm going to brighten up my highlight here on the vase and then um, with some watered down yellow, I'm going to warm it up some and just lightly go over it. Just cleaning up my vase right here, kind of darkening it a little bit, but just adding some more color to it. Now with a fan brush, I'm mixing a pale yellow and just with the very tip of the fan brush, I'm dabbing in a um, little, I don't really know what these are, but Anyway, add something to the painting. It's almost like baby's breath, but I don't know what it is. But it, it sparkles it up some, so it helps a lot. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and God bless you.